Former Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Rosario is calling on the government to hold China accountable for its aggressive behavior in the West Philippine Sea. And if Beijing refuses to abide by the Hague ruling, the Rosario says it's time for government to raise the matter before the United Nations General Assembly. Marian Enriquez has that story. All is not lost in the fight for sovereign rights for the disputed waters in the West Philippine Sea, so said former Foreign Affairs Secretary Albert Del Rosario. Speaking in a virtual international conference on the West Philippine Sea, Del Rosario believes the president still has an opportunity to fulfill his promise to the Filipino people to raise the award, this time not to the Chinese president, but to the world. First, he said the president should bring up the matter during the 75th session of the United Nations General Assembly this September. This will be an opportune moment because the theme of the upcoming UNGA session is the commitment to multilateralism. This is when the leaders of 193 countries will troop to the United Nations to promote their positions before the, glo before, before the global community of nations. He added that other claimant states should also submit a communication before the International Criminal Court to protest China's actions. Del Rosario said the government could also consolidate assistance from other nations such as the U.S., Australia, the EU, Japan, and other nations in Southeast Asia. To do this, we need to develop our own defense assets and call upon like-minded allies like the U.S., Australia, and Japan which share our respect for the rule of law and the values of freedom and democracy. Senator Pantelo Laxon, who chairs the Committee on National Defense and Security, said this may be possible through a vertical coalition of nations, a counterweight against the superpower that is China. It is imperative that we increase alliances among the community of nations. China's expansionist policy is historical. Long before it became a country that we see today, it was an empire. From China's perspective, it has natural dominion over everything under the heavens. Let it be said that we refuse to be under the same sky. In closing, let me leave you with a call for unity. No matter the scale, nature, and magnitude, our adversary stands. We must uphold our interest as an independent and sovereign nation. He said the government should be serious in its defense efforts and boost military expenditures to 2% of the GDP to at least be at par with the rest of ASEAN, especially those with maritime conflicts with China. In the end, Del Rosario added that it's time for Filipinos to unite and demand what is due from China. We should not be hoodwinked into giving up our rights by the mere protest of Chinese money, by the mere prospect of Chinese money. Seeking accountability for China's atrocities in our land and waters is not waging war against China. It is taking what Filipinos justly deserve under the rule of law. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.